Good morning, everyone. I am going to be starting my day with some of this Bigelow Vanilla Chai Black Tea. One of my viewers recommended this, and it is very good. If you like chai, very, very good tea. So I'm going to be starting my morning off with some of this. I love my coffee, but I'm also really starting to enjoy tea a whole lot more than I used to. So I'm going to let that sit in there for a little bit. But yeah, this is going to be what I have essentially for breakfast. I intermittent fast, so I don't eat anything until afternoon. So I'm gonna just have that for zero points, along with my Hydro Flask full of water here. And that is all I'm gonna be having until lunchtime. It is about 1.30 and it is my lunchtime, so I'm gonna have one of my new favorites for lunch today and that is a bagel sandwich. Now, I'm gonna start off with one of these cheese bagels. This is a two ingredient dough bagel that I make in my air fryer. We absolutely love these. If anybody wants to see how I do this, let me know down in the comments below and I will do a video on them. But I'm gonna start with one of these and this is five points. So I'm gonna just cut it open Mine don't necessarily look like bagels when I cook them. The whole kind of disappears. But anyway, I'm going to take one of these Happy Farms Creamy Pepper Jack cheeses. I'm going to spread that on there. And that is a point for one of these. And next I'm going to take some of this turkey lunch meat and put a couple pieces of that on there. And this stuff I get at Sam's and it is a point for two slices. And then to that, I'm gonna add an ounce of avocado. And that is one point for an ounce. So that's gonna make this sandwich eight points total. And it is worth every point. These are so good, I love these. With that, I am also gonna have a serving of these Popcorners. Kettle corn, this is still my favorite flavor, but I do like all the different Popcorners that I've tried. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh a serving of this out. And a serving of these is an ounce, which is four points. So that's serving for four points. I'm also going to have two mandarins for zero points and a zero sugar Sprite or diet Sprite for zero points. So for eight points for the sandwich, four for the chips, zero for the mandarins and zero for the Sprite, my lunch total is going to be 12 points for today. For my snack today, I'm just going to be having one of these Snyder's mini pretzel bags. And these are a point and half an ounce. And then I'm also going to be having one of these Baby Bell light cheeses. And these are also a point. So my snack total for today is two points. And here is dinner tonight. We're having some spaghetti and a little bit of salad. Now this spaghetti, I will link the original video to this where it shows the ingredients. Um, this was actually my very first video on YouTube I did on the spaghetti. But um, when I did it, I used hamburger. We don't really use hamburger anymore. If you do, it's gonna be higher in points. So the differences that I make to that recipe now are I use ground turkey instead of ground beef, and I use stevia instead of sugar. So those are the two changes. Everything else is the same. And this makes about 16 one cup servings. I've got two servings here. A serving is six points, or for two, it is 11 points. So I've got 11 points worth of spaghetti here. Got a salad, that's zero points. But I'm gonna be adding some dressing, which I'll show you. Gonna be adding some of this Opa avocado cilantro dressing and going to be using about two tablespoons and that is going to be two points. So dinner for me for today is going to be 
13 points. For dessert tonight, I'm gonna to be having a piece of this two ingredient angel food cake dessert. It is seven points for a serving and it is really good stuff. I did just recently do a video where I showed three different cake mix desserts and this was one of them. This is one I've just been making for a really long time and really enjoy it. And it's so simple to make. I will link the video up above and down below where I show making this if you're interested. But yeah, seven points for dessert tonight. And that wraps up my day. As you can see, I did go over by four points, which typically I don't do, but this did happen to be a weekend day. I tend to be a little more lax on weekends in general. Friday is the day I have my cheat meal and the rest of the weekend, I'm just a little less point conscious, I guess you could say. This would be an example of going over a little bit, not too much, but I did want to show this because usually I show weekdays where I stay at or under points. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.